Hi, I'm Jillian. And I'm Ethan. Today, we're going to be doing a salt painting. Oh, wow. Have you ever done one before? I haven't, actually. They're really cool. So, what we're going to need is a piece of black paper, salt, white glue, make sure it's liquid, some food coloring or watercolor paints, and a paintbrush. That's right. Let's get started. Yeah. We're absolutely. gonna start with our glue. Okay. Um, so you're gonna draw out whatever design you want. Um, in the example, we have a smiley face. Today, I'm gonna do a cross. I'm doing a cross too. All right, let's yeah. do that. Oh, how much glue do I need to put on this? Oh, well, just, it just depends on how thick you want it. You don't have to do anything specific. Oh. Just a nice line. See if I can do this evenly. There. Like that? Is that enough? Oof. Yes. Oh, yours looks great. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Next, you're going to take your salt. Just take the lid off because we're going to use a nice amount. And you're just going to sprinkle it over all of the glue so that it is covered in salt. Mm -hmm. How much salt are you doing? I'm just making sure it has okay. a, a nice layer on it. I have not enough or it won't work, right? That's right. Okay. It is called a salt painting, right? <laughs> okay, I think I think I have enough. Okay. So there's probably extras just hanging out on your paper. Oh so much extras. Alright, well you're just gonna knock it off. We have an extra paper here on the side. If you have a garbage can nearby, you can also use that. Just slide it off. All right, oh, so and the salt sticks to the glue. That's right. All right, so now we do the painting part of the salt painting. We did the salt painting now. So you're just going to dip your brush in your watercolor or in your food coloring and just touch it to the salt. And the color will spread itself. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. Really cool, isn't it? Yeah. So you don't have to brush it back and forth. You no, just kind you just of touch it. Lightly touch it. And you can use different colors, kind of make it a tie-dye look if you want. Or, yeah. or you can do it all one color. No, I'm doing different colors. Oh, that green spreads quickly. <laughs> nice. I'm going to use some. No. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. You know what this cross reminds me of? What? The cross reminds me of that God sent his son to earth to die for us, to cover all of our sins. And he died on the cross. But three days later, he rose from the dead. Isn't that wonderful? That's great news. And that's why I decided to do a cross. Yeah. Um, you know, along those lines, when we just like tap this color on here mm -hmm. and the salt spreads it around. Yep. It reminds me that we should share the the good news about Jesus. Spread it just like the salt spreads the color. Yeah. That's that's really, really neat. I'm almost done. How are you doing? Um, I am I'm I'm trucking along. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not as far as you are. Uh. You know, the cross is used as a symbol around Easter time. Yeah. Because that's the Easter story. That is the Easter story, absolutely. All right. Last little bit. What color should I use? Orange? I'm using orange. Okay. There. Done. Oh, yours looks so good. Um, you'll notice that there's a little bit of wet on the outside from the color. That's normal. It'll dry, and that's why we use a dark paper, so that you can't see it once it's dried. Oh, okay. So if it was white paper, you'd see it. But I guess you'd see the yeah. colors. Exactly. Well, that's very, very neat. Yeah. Almost done. Okay. Well, take your time. 
Oh, yeah, you have like a bit of a tie-dye effect there going. Hey. Yeah. I had no plan behind it. I just kept throwing colors <laughs> at it. But I think Perfect. it looks fine. It does. <laughs> oh. All right. Great. Well, thank you for teaching us this craft. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.